Hey guys, me Ronald Chris Tomer here on this Monday. Let's do an afternoon mountain weather update since this is our first real storm system of the season. And we've got our very first winter weather advisories out uh, now from the weather service here. So you're looking at Colorado um, and these pink areas, these purple areas, actually parts of southern Wyoming as well. These are all winter weather advisories for the highest, the higher elevations and expecting potentially uh, up to a foot of snow over some of the very highest peaks, exactly what I've been saying the last couple of days. But uh, those are the very first ones of the season so far. One of the peaks included within that winter weather advisory is Long's Peak up there near Rocky Mountain National Park. And there it is. It's a 14er. It's over 14,000 feet. I expect 6 to 12 inches of snow up here on top of Long's Peak. Uh, when all is said and done. Most of that is going to happen tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. That's when the bulk of this system comes in. Um, let's take a look at radar, kind of bring things up to speed. So the storm system is still up here, largely in Wyoming. You can almost see the spin of everything kind of rolling around an area of low pressure. So if I were to, I'd say it's somewhere like right in here, but everything's kind of rotating around this area of low pressure. And even some precip right now running into the high Uintas of Utah, I did expect potentially one, two, three inches of snow accumulation across the high Uintas. I think we'll get that. Um, and you can see some of the uh, the snow up here in blue, the Wind River's right there, everything kind of pulling out of uh, the Tetons and Yellowstone at this point. But all of this action will be rolling down to the south and then eventually squarely into Colorado and then directly south across um, the front range, the high peaks banked right up against the Continental Divide. That's where we're going to see some of the biggest action. Here's Utah. So there's the precip um, swinging into the uh, the high Uintas as we speak. Let's go into Colorado. Um, some afternoon thunderstorms. We're still in the warm part of the storm here in Colorado. And you can see some of the thunderstorms popping up along I-70. Now, eventually, overnight, the temperatures will start to fall. And we'll see a lowering of the snow levels. I think... You know, overall, when you look at this storm system, most of the snow is going to be above 10 to 12,000 feet. That's sort of the, even when it gets cold enough during the storm or at the coolest part of the storm, you know, maybe 95 to 10,000 feet, somewhere in there. But um, the biggest snow will likely be above that and certainly above 12,000 um, if you're going to, you know, push 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 inches. That's where it's going to be. Um, let me just, uh, and this will be more of an abbreviated update. Uh, I want to take you into the uh, the forecast radar here. Um, and so this is how it's going to look. If you were to look at a radar um, in the future, it should look like this. And so these returns that you see here, where you start to see the greens and these yellows and these oranges, those are the more intense returns on radar, the heavier amounts of precipitation. So we'll start this at dinner time tonight. And what do you see? Well, there's our area of low pressure. Um, there's a cold front right here running with that low, and all of that is going to be moving down in this direction. All right, let's move this ahead in time. So here we go. There's midnight. There's early Tuesday morning. And look at all of this heavy precipitation. So the area of low pressure is somewhere right in there. And so with the low there, we're getting this wraparound effect and upslope. So what's happening is those, those east-northeast winds are running into the mountains, and they're forced to rise. And so we're actually enhancing the precipitation and adding to it. This is generating additional precip. And so we're wringing that out. And where it's cold enough, right here on top of the Continental Divide, that is going to be snow from southern Wyoming all the way through the mountains of Colorado. Most of it will be on the divide and then east. But look at all of this rain down here across Denver in the front range. We could see half an inch to an inch, believe it or not, of rain out of this thing at the lower elevations. All right, let's move ahead. Here we are lunchtime. So this is lunchtime on Tuesday. Our area of low pressure is starting to slide out into the plains, but we're still getting that wraparound effect with quite a bit of rain across Denver, the Springs, the Front Range, and then there's your snow up there right on top of the Continental Divide. There will be some accumulation west of the Divide, but not nearly as much. Okay, here we go into the evening hours. There's the evening of Tuesday. Now, as we roll into the early morning hours of Wednesday, there's early Wednesday. Our area of low pressure now is out here, so it's pulling all the precipitation away um, and out of Colorado at that point. There's not much of an impact there to northern New Mexico, maybe a little bit of rain or a snow shower over the very highest peaks. There's lunchtime on Wednesday, and then there the, there's the evening hour 
uh, on Wednesday. So that's how I think this is all going to evolve over the course of time. Let's talk just a little bit about um, snow. Um, so this is a snow forecast for Bertha Pass, the updated versus what we had this morning. And this is actually, um, this is an ensemble forecast, which means it uses a bunch of different runs of this model. And there's the mean, and you can see the numbers are up. This actually, um, this actually uh, uh, produces in this, with this snowstorm, almost seven inches of snow, the model mean. There are some members of this that produce a foot of snow up in Bertha Pass, and then there are some that only produce two or three. So you can kind of see how that works. Now, over the course of time, by early October, this has 10, so uh, generates another roughly um, three inches of snow after the storm exits through the early days, the early, the first week of October. So that's Bertha Pass in Colorado. That's near Winter Park. That's in the Central Mountains as you kind of roll off I-70 up Highway 40 over Bertha Pass. Um, let's look at some of the uh, the graphics here as far as snow goes. So here is the snow forecast. This is a total for the storm system. You've got Wyoming, you've got Utah, you've got Colorado. So definitely forecasting up to six inches here in the Wind Rivers, potentially one, two, three inches there in the High Uintas, and you can see this area pink here. That's over six inches, and I'll zoom into that um, across the Front Range High Peaks of Colorado. All right, so let's go in just a little bit closer here into Colorado. So there's the pink area. That's where we're going to see 6 to 12 inches of snow accumulation. Again, the biggest numbers are going to be over 12,000, but we may have snow all the way down to 9,500 to 10,000 feet. Um, so let's just say you've got you've got the continental, well, you've got the highest peaks kind of running in this area. So that's where the heaviest snow will be. There will also be some snow over here on the west side of the divide, but not as much. So down in the Summit County, Lake County, Pitkin County, maybe one, two, three inches, maybe a four inch amount. That's certainly not out of the question. Maybe one, two inches down here over the sand grays and just a touch on the eastern escarpment of the San Juan. So, and obviously no snow down here at lower elevations. Denver, it's all rain. But certainly up here, like I said, Long's Peak, um, the Indian Peaks, Rocky Mountain National Park, um, those areas could see 6 to 12 inches um, of snow accumulation out of this. And that's probably going to be the maximum amount that we see is probably a foot. Um, given it's still early in the season, temperatures are not that cold. Um, so 6 to 12 is probably what we're going to see as the maximum amount. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon Mountain Weather Update. Appreciate you tuning in here. Take care and have a good day.